That's my mom. She doesn't like my crack being out there for the world to see. My mom said the neighbors. She doesn't like anybody like the neighbors seeing my crack. Um, been a weird last two days. Sunday, I worked on the trailer for uh, Nightfall, a short film I have coming out. You can see the trailer here. Monday, I was sick. I had uh, slept and had um, like a fever while I was sleeping. I was just so hot and sweaty and I slept all day. Uh, same thing happened last night, but I was even up, up now at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So, try to make do with the day I have. Today, I'm going to be cleaning some of these tools from a. Uh, cleaning some tools from a repair job I did the other day. My, uh, my mother's truck. Uh, I changed the alternator, power steering hose. I was so tired after working on it for like almost two days that I didn't clean my tools yet. So I'm going to kind of pick them up and go through them now. And with that, I kind of want to talk about why Sears sucks. It's because of Craftsman. They suck. First of all, this is not Craftsman tool. This is some cheap Harbor Freight. But you see how it broke? It's, a, it's supposed to be complete like that. It broke. I would have bought more tools from Sears, even though they're more expensive. But I haven't lately because Sears, for the past uh, 10 years or so, longer than that, I think, stopped exchanging tools that were uh, broken. So, like if you had a craftsman and you went into uh, Sears with it and it broke, no questions asked, they would replace it. You know, no big deal, alright, here's a new one. That's not the case anymore. And that's that's one of the reasons why Sears sucks. The thing I noticed when I was a kid, because I when I was a kid we used to go to um, we used to go to Sears all the time. Like all the time. Like Sears was the go to store for everything. Uh, when I was about ten, I would say, somewhere around then I, I I mean I was a big child all my life. But somewhere around ten I stopped being able to fit into um, kids clothes or something like that and I had to go to like the um, teens or something like that or the big big boy clothes or whatever and that worked for a little bit but quickly I got big and I needed adult clothes of course problem with adult clothes is they fit this way but they're you know for someone taller now Walmart the, the regular one we start going there and then we start noticing Walmart had clothes sizes for me they had stuff that my mom needed for my new sister, my baby sister at the time. And it's just kind of became the new go-to store. And now today there's one Sears against four Super Walmarts, while Sears is more of a you know mall store. But malls are closing. Online shopping is hurting the mall industry. And Sears is not adapting. So that's the big problem. Is it Sears? Sorry, Sears is not adapting, and Walmart became our new go-to place. And I know I can't be the only family that did that because Sears was always the like entry-level, entry-level store to a mall. Like if you didn't have a lot of money, you go to a Sears. Um, you know, if you're a working-class person, Sears was your place. You know, they sold tools, things like that. Whereas a Macy's or a Maison Blanche or a JC Penney were like little higher end clothes. I mean, weren't the boutiques of Saks Fifth Avenue or anything like that, but they were working class people got larger. I mean, in America we just got larger. We're fat, you know. Can't, can't can't argue against that. We're fat. But Sears didn't keep up with that. If they would have kept making bigger Levi jeans or bigger T-shirts, bigger flannel shirts, you know, things like that. I think people would have stayed going for brand loyalty because they would had because when you're a big person and you go to the mall and you're with friends that are smaller. They're like, let's go shopping. And it's like, well, I can't go shopping because there's nothing in this mall that fits me. I can't go to a t-shirt store. They don't sell anything beyond 2X. I'm a 3X guy. Or when I was a 3X guy. I'm a 5X guy now. Um, they don't sell anything larger than 2X. They don't cater to anybody that's big but short. You know, So you had to go to like big and tall stores, which are usually stores by themselves somewhere else in the, you know, the town. Uh, but that's two reasons why Sears sucks. 
They don't care big people's clothes. They didn't keep up with the market trend, and they don't accept craftsmen, bro broken craftsman tools easily. And I think that's why they're not doing so well. I love Sears, but god damn it, guys, you know, you fucked up. Anyway, I'm almost done here. Alright, done for today. Putting the, putting the wheelchair up. Sorry about the Sears rant.